Benny. Ben Ben. Yep. Just wondering if you fancied coming out on a on a on a run with me. A run? Go for a run. Oh, what type of run? Well, I was thinking maybe something like five to ten minute WU, maybe some drills, thinking leg cycling, maybe some dynamics as well. Then I'm thinking main sesh, set some reps, four by four, four hundreds. We're going lactate threshold, maybe some hot spots, maybe with a little bit of a kilometre float in between. Not sure about that yet. And maybe for some cool dizzle, we'll do some strides afterwards. I mean, how does that grab you? What, is that? what, do, you, what do you think about that? Do you mean... Do you mean... Just by all that, we just go for a run, yeah? Yeah, uh, Yeah, I guess, I guess I just mean, would you, like, would you like to go for a run? Mary, should we just go for an easy run? Yes. Okay. So this is my take on it, is in running, there are so, many different and confusing terminologies that I hear people throw about all of the time. And I've been running, I've been running all my life and there is still stuff I hear, I'm like, oh, what's that? Yeah, me Do you too. know what I mean? The aim of this video is to not only tell you the main types of running sessions that you can do that are gonna bring your running along, but it's also to try and help you cut through the terminologies a bit, cut through the rubbish, sift it out, and find out what's really important for running. I think. First up, before we establish anything else, let's establish really that we use two types of runs. We use our continuous runs, which is anything where you go and you don't stop and you maintain a pretty steady pace. And we use interval runs, which is either runs where we vary the pace a lot or runs where we go really hard and then rest as well so there are two types of runs we use yeah. and then we'll go into kind of how you divvy that up oh we're down the clong it's nice right yeah. look at that what run are we on today Mare? we're on a 5k base run or you might call it a recovery run. Yeah, so listen to the terminologies that people can call the same type of run. So I would call it a base run. You can call it a recovery run. You could call it a zone two run. You could call it an easy run. You can call it, no, that's about it, isn't it? Or is there anything else? Uh, They're all the same thing, that's the point. It's, it's the same thing. Maybe steady? Yeah, steady run, but they're different words for essentially what is the same thing, which is going out and running in zone two and working on building your aerobic base. Easy run, zone two run, steady run, recovery run. It's all the same thing, right? Yeah. And the thing is, distance doesn't matter so much when you're doing a zone two or easy or base run. Right now, we've just done a 5K but we could have quite easily done 15, 20K. When I say quite easily, you know what I mean. We could have done that in our base zones and it would have given us the same benefit for our base. And Mary just made a good point. Yeah, I was just gonna say that a common problem with people on easy runs is that they run too hard and push themselves a bit and really easy should be super easy. Um, and it's most of what you should do in your training. I think what she's trying to say is keep the easy runs easy. That's it. <laughs> Base run done. On to the next run. runs next up so tempo runs are a step up from base runs they're faster harder and a sustained effort so they're in between base runs and all out speed sessions it's about running at a pace that's uncomfortable for a longer period of time and if you're a cyclist or if you're in the bike world you would know these as like a sweet spot um, right, tempo runs used to be my least favourite session because 
you're basically having to be uncomfortable for a long period of time they used to terrify me but they have such a good impact on your race preparation because it's the closest thing to what it feels like towards the end of a marathon or half marathon when it doesn't feel good but you've got to keep on pushing so it's really good mental training as well as physical training so in your tempo run you should be above zone two working in zone three so it should feel like a harder effort but one that you can maintain you can play around with speeds a little bit um there's a really good session called over under which we do which ben's made a video on before but you can play around with speed within your zone three and let your body and mind learn what it feels like to be uncomfortable if you're training for a race you might do one tempo session a week and it might be part of a base run so you might do a tempo section in the middle let us know if you've got any really good ways to approach tempo in the comments below because i'm still learning to love them and that mary brings us to the track where we're about to do intervals intervals but you don't need a track no you could do them anyway really we're just lucky we have one at school very lucky So what are intervals? Intervals, as we said earlier in the video, they're the opposite of continuous training. They are intervals of hard work interspersed with rest. And what we're gonna do today is a classic session that we've done on the channel a few times called 30, 20, 10, where you run easy for 30 seconds, medium for 20 seconds, and flat out or hard for 10 seconds. And then you go back into the easy and the recovery is two minutes after you've done that five times round. So intervals are like i say it's hard interspersed with really easy so that you can go super hard because the kind of efforts that we're going to be putting in in this session right now you can't sustain for a long period of time and keep the quality high so let's crack on never quite feel ready for an interval session do you no you just kind of have to just go before you think too much about it yeah i'm going to talk to you try to talk to you while we're doing it about the types of interval sessions that you can do but also reassure you that you don't really need to get bogged down in all the phrases and worries an interval session is just hard work recovery hard work recovery and at its very core yeah let's do it i keep i'm putting it off ready mm -hmm. okay 30 seconds easy <laughs> I always think you're going to be able to talk during the efforts, but it's not happening. I'll talk to you in the rest. Here we go. Oh. So that's the first effort of five minutes done. And now I've got my interval rest, which is two minutes recovery, aimed at bringing my heart rate right back down. It is, I don't know how many times I say this in every video, but it's very hot. Heart rate's down to 119 now. You know, when I'm working, it's about 170, 160, 170. So I know I'm ready to go again. I've got 30 seconds left. Uh, so we go into the second interval of work. Oh, joy. You might be wondering how long do you do intervals for and actually that can vary quite a lot depending on what you are trying to achieve in the interval session but I'm doing five minutes of running before I take a rest and that's probably at the top end of what I want to be doing in any interval session at any one time is five minutes and I appreciate 30 seconds of each of those reps are easy but they don't feel easy when you're in them so you really need this two minute break before you punch it again because when I'm doing those 10 seconds hard I am punching it uh, or it's punching me I'm not sure at this point all right last five minute rep empty the tank that's what good about these interval sessions is you can really empty the tank and it's okay because it's a shorter session ah uh, last little effort now last little bit how'd that feel man hard but man I've missed missed those sessions 
they just give you so much structure like they give you such a I don't know a buzz that you're yeah. like hitting stuff on off it's like a real game and yeah. yeah I've been lacking a bit of motivation in the last week and a half and I feel like that's given it all back and if you like structure my other favorite ones of these are 400 meter repeats because yeah. you can go hard and then rest or kilometer repeats they're a bit longer they hurt a bit more but you still get the rest and like those are two of our favorites because like Mary said they're structured they're easy to remember they work slightly different things but you can go hard in them yeah and I've really 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 missed that that was really hard really hot but I'm gonna be buzzing all evening yeah now. they're a really excellent addition to your training maybe a little bit further down the line if you're a newer runner but intervals definitely have a place in everybody's training even really even if you're training for marathons you can fit them in in the early days but maybe you get more specific and go longer later but that's a whole nother video and it's for any runner because it's just you making an effort for you it's your best effort you don't have block. to run a three minute kilometer if you're not yeah. a three minute kilometer runner it's your best effort if you're brand new to intervals just do one minute hard one minute easy and repeat as many times as you can and you'll feel awesome top tip <laughs> and that's about as far as we take it with session structure yep but there is someone we want to introduce to you a very important new addition um first up i should probably introduce the newest member of our family to you this say hello jesse is jesse and he's a little boy that if you followed our Instagram stories, we found abandoned on a beach with his eight siblings. One had already died, sadly. Um, we managed to rescue all of them, get them to a charity. Um, uh, but as we drove away, we couldn't get Jess out of our heads. Um, he was the smallest, weakest. We thought he was going to die. Um, and we drove away from that charity. Amazing. Head Rock Dog Charity, Dog Rescue Charity. Look them up. Um, they do amazing stuff. I'll put the link in this video if you want to support them um, as we are. But um, we just wanted to do something that we knew that we could, which was rescue a little pup. And that's what we've done with Jess. So he's down here having a little sleep now. But uh, you'll see a lot more of him in videos to come. Now, on to the running content, which is I'm sure you're here for. And the first thing that I want to just impress upon you about this whole video is please don't let the terminologies that people use scare you away from trying something new. They're just terminologies. Lots of people use different things. People, I keep hearing new phrases that I've never heard before and I've been running all my life. And, and it always makes me go, okay, so it's just a new way of explaining something that I already do. And just look at it like that. Now, the level at which you do these different training sessions will, of course, depend on your level of experience. If you are just starting running, then honestly, you can really not go wrong with doing base runs doing it because you're always building your aerobic base I still am and then you can build in other sessions you don't have to start with all the bells and whistles from the very start so you know stick with base stick with zone two keep it easy and and you'll be flying but if you do want to know a little bit more if you do want to do a little bit more surround yourself with people that are more knowledgeable than you and better runners than you and they will push you on and I've always found the running community to be super supportive and helpful so they will help you and they will help you learn these terminologies Technologies. But what I thought I would do, and admittedly this is going to be a lot harder now with a puppy asleep on my lap um, because I don't want to jiggle about as much as I usually do because he's going to sleep. But what I thought I would do is I've written down a load of terminologies that some people find confusing and I'm going to give myself one minute on the phone to answer as many of these as possible. Now, I might even get confused. I'm not going to edit this. I'm just going to give it my best shot so you'll see just in how my brain works. Oh, don't worry, Bubba, you're a bit warm. I think he's getting a bit warm. You get a bit warm. One minute, oh, I don't fancy my chances here. Okay, are we ready? Zones, they refer to your heart rate zones. Different zones train different things within the body. RPE is rating of perceived exertion. What it means is how hard you're training, one to 10, 10 being the hardest. Hot spots means that they are a faster period in a longer run. So you could do a long run with a one kilometer hot spot or faster. Flow is usually the recovery element or the easier part of a run in a harder run. So you could do a one kilometer float at easier pace. Strides are um, something you do after an easy run that are maybe 200 meters or so and they treat your, they take they make teach your body to go faster um, but not for much cost drills they are like the things that you do before you do a run kind of um, to teach your body the correct movement patterns reps and sets so you could do um, 
two sets of five reps of 400 meters. So reps is the repetitions, sets is the amount of time you do those repetitions. VO2 max is basically the top limit of how hard your body can work and take in oxygen at the same time and use it. Lactate threshold is the... Um, Okay, I'll explain this one anyway. Lactate threshold is basically the threshold at which your body can deal with lactate, flush it out of your legs when you're working hard, but as soon as you start working too hard, the lactate goes too high and you have to slow down because there's too much lactic acid. Actually, that was the end of my list anyway. I hope I did well. Um, that was more stressful than I thought it would be. So what's coming up on the channel? Obviously, puppy spam, um, but also we have Bang Sen Half Marathon in a couple of weeks which we're really looking forward to because it's finally a bit of road marathon and no hills and we've also got more trail races coming up we're pretty much locked in till the end of March now so we're really excited about that I just need to find something early February we will be doing collaborations we've still got the squid game for runners that's going on in the background that there'll be one huge video about lots of training tips lots of races lots of puppy spam come on what is not to like? So if you feel like you want to join us on the journey, click the little subscribe button. Job done. Right, see you on Sunday. Say goodbye, Jesse. Look. Say goodbye, Jesse. Bye-bye.